What is going on everybody, my name is Kenneth Fleece, and welcome back to yet another Snapseed tutorial. Just a couple of days ago now, I was researching different effects that typically require a professional photo editing software, so I could reverse engineer those effects, and then show you how to make them in Snapseed. Well, I ended up finding a particularly dope effect that I knew was possible in Snapseed, so I jumped in, and after a bit of experimentation, I had a working prototype. I posted said prototype to Instagram just to see what you guys thought, and after a healthy amount of DMs asking about how it was done, I determined that this video should take priority over the ones that I've been working on. So, without any further ado, I present to you the transparent Superman. So now that you know the story, let's jump right into it. For this effect, you're gonna need three things. First, a tripod, because the camera cannot move during the photo process. Second, you're gonna need a camera. Keep in mind, this effect will work whether your camera is a DSLR or a smartphone. And last but not least, you'll need the right location. This effect relies heavily on your ability to portray depth or the Z-axis in your photos. Everyone's familiar with the X-axis, which portrays length, and the Y-axis, which portrays height. But there's also a Z-axis, which portrays depth. You see, despite the fact that we exist three-dimensionally, we can only see in two of those three dimensions, height and width. Our brains assume depth through patterns, leading lines, and size, and it's that assumption that we're gonna take advantage of with this photo effect. Ideally, your location should be a paragon of depth. Common examples would be long roads, bridges, or hallways. When you see one of these structures, your brain automatically knows they cover a distance and is like, that's that dang old Z axis, ain't it? So think of structures like this near you, and once you have one in mind, go ahead and teleport to it using instant transmission. All right, so once you're on location, go ahead and set up your tripod and line up your shot. First, take a shot of the location by itself without you standing in it or anyone else there. It's imperative that this shot is completely static and there's no movement. Once you have your background shot, go ahead and take your Superman. Once you're content with both of your shots, go ahead and head back home to edit. Once you're back, go ahead and open up the photo of you holding your shirt open in Snapseed. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put that bridge right on our chest. To do that, go into tools in the bottom center and then select double exposure, which is in the bottom left corner. Once you're in the double exposure tool, select the icon that is second from the left. And now we're just gonna open up the photo that is the blank background. A quick tip I have for this is that you can actually make the bridge or whatever background you have look a lot bigger by pinching down the size of the image. Even if the lines don't match up completely perfectly, that's okay because our brains want these lines to match up, and so you won't really notice if they're off by like a centimeter or so. Once you have it the way you want it, select the tabs in the bottom center, and then we're gonna select darken. And this is gonna make sure that the image is completely solid on us. Oh, and you're gonna wanna make sure your opacity is all the way up too. All right, you're gonna get this screen that makes it look like that you've ruined your photo. Don't worry about that. Go to the icon in the top right that has the squares with the arrow jumping over them, and then select view edits. Now in your view edits menu, select double exposure at the bottom, and then you're gonna select the paintbrush icon and we're gonna paint in just the parts of the bridge that we need. Now you can kind of do a lazy job and just kind of go nuts with it. If you just paint it in, the effect is still cool, but if you look here, I mean, it's very obvious that it's just painted on. While it's still a decent looking effect, it's not the effect that we're going for, which is that you're opening your shirt and it's revealing a background. So let's go back into double exposure and I'll show you how to paint this in consciously. Now what you wanna do is zoom all the way in as close as you can get. And what I like to do here is just follow the line of my shirt, little by little. The more time you spend doing this, the better the effect is gonna look. The fingers can be a little tricky. So what I end up doing a lot of the time is actually removing part of my finger, um, just so it can look a lot more clean. I paint over part of my finger, but in a realistic way that it still looks like it's a whole finger. But if you're good enough to get it close without having to ruin your finger, be my guest. Okay, now once you have a good outline, just go ahead and paint in the rest pretty carefree, but still be careful. Really look at your edges and make sure that they're not like mine here, where they kind of go over your shirt a little bit, because it really does ruin the effect. So go back in, get in tight, and paint out those edges. Make sure that it's completely flush with your shirt. All right, once you feel like you have it, go ahead and select the check mark on the bottom right and look at the difference that made. Now that looks like a hole in the chest. <laughs> now that that's pretty much done, there's one last thing I did. If you're one of the people who saw this on Instagram, you'll probably notice that that car wasn't there in my post, nor was that tree. 
I normally would have used the healing tool, but the healing tool doesn't work on objects that are that big. So if I go in and try to erase that, it does a decent job at first, but then you see it really ruins it. It doesn't work the way it would on like a small blemish or something. So I'll put that back. If your photo is like mine here and you have a horizon behind you, a lot of times you can use both sides of that horizon. So watch this, you go into tools and then select double exposure. I'm gonna grab that exact same photo that I had before. So with the raw background again, I'm gonna place it over the other side of the image. I'm gonna give it a 100% opacity and I'm gonna set its blend mode to darken. Now we're gonna go back into view edits mode and we're going to go to the paint. And now watch the magic. We're just going to paint away the resulting image. Because the textures are pretty similar, you can't even tell that there's a difference between the two unless you're really paying attention. So then you just erase and get rid of any attributes. So this can be better than the healing tool in some situations, so keep that in mind. Now look at the difference. We got rid of a car, a tree, and the center of our chest, all using just double exposure in Snapseed. The last thing I like to do is add a bit of film grain to hide the edits that we've made. To do that, go into tools in the bottom center, and then go into grainy film. I'm just gonna use the AO1, which is the first option. It's like check mark in the bottom right. Once you're done, go ahead and take a look at your edits by putting your finger down on the screen. <laughs> and I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, we took a car out, a tree out, and the center of our chest, and it all looks pretty good. So once you're done, go ahead and export, and export again. But that's all there is to the transparent Superman effect. If you end up recreating this, feel free to tag me on Instagram. I love to see what you guys can do. But that's all I got for you. If you enjoyed this, make good use of that like button and please subscribe.